So the purpose of this video is to show you how to record without worrying about tempo, but still find that tempo later. We can create a tempo map if we want, but the main thing I want to show you is how to put something down without worrying about a click track. We can just play what we feel and find that tempo later. So let me show you how to do it with audio. I've already created a track for my guitar. Let's put it into record, change the input where my guitar mic is plugged in, and just record the part. Notice I turned off the click track, so we're not going to hear it during the recording. That's enough for this purpose, as we don't need the whole song. Just enough to find the tempo we're going to use. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the project settings. Under File, Project Settings, and change the time base for items from beats, position, length, and rate to time. This will allow us to create tempo markers without affecting or time stretching the audio. Hit OK. Now we're going to find a reference for our timing, basically where the downbeat is. Take it out of record, hear it back. There's a bit of a pickup right here. So right over here is the downbeat we want. Let's drag it over. Let's turn on a grid and snapping. And hold down shift so we can move it not on the grid, so it lines up with the downbeat we want. That's a good starting point. Then we'll put our cursor on the bar that we just lined it up to, hit Shift C, and that adds a tempo marker. Now we don't need this to open each time to this dialog, so if you don't want that and you want to save time, we could change that action. Go to Actions, Show Action List, go to Find Shortcut, type Shift C. Here's the action we just used, and just change it to this one instead which will create a tempo marker without opening the dialog each time. We'll make it Shift C again, and that replaces the other one. So now, if we hit Shift C, creates a tempo marker up there, but if we need to edit it later, we can always double click it to reopen the dialog. But for this video, we're not gonna need it open, so it saves us a bit of time. So let's find the next downbeat we need. Right about here, let's put a tempo marker on this bar. And instead of moving it to line up over here, we'll hold down a modifier to stretch this tempo marker. Hold the control on the PC, command on the Mac. And if we move this, notice the tempo changes on this one. So we're actually creating a tempo map based on what we played. So these two points are lined up. But before we go forward, I like to line up the first bar so the intro is at least close to our tempo, which you can see is now about 115 beats per minute. So let's double click this and copy that tempo. And let's paste it at the beginning. Now this one is off, but we can again move the audio to be right on that spot. And now if we play it from the beginning with the metronome turned on, it should be in time from the beginning. at least these two bars. So now we'll find the next bar. Right about here, add a tempo marker, move it, control on the PC, command on the Mac, either to here or more like here, because we played a bit of a pickup on the strum. A bit later, maybe about here, Put another one here at bar six, adjust it with that modifier. Put another one here, do the same thing. Doesn't need to be perfect, 
as we just need the average tempo we played. Zoom in. Put another one here. Line it up. Now it should be good from the beginning. So we could see the different tempos we played and just kind of average it out to what we prefer. If we like it slower, we could just choose 115, maybe 116, or go faster at about 118 based on what we played. Now we could re-record the entire song at that tempo. So we could just delete all these tempo markers. We'll go up here to view and choose tempo envelope. We could see all those envelope points that are adjusting our tempo. Just select one of them, select all, and hit delete. And that removes them all. Let's delete this as we're going to play it again. Set our tempo to whatever tempo we decide on. Let's say we liked 116. We can now hide our master track and re record our guitar to the tempo we just chose. Put it back into record and record with this tempo. Sounds good. So we found the tempo we really wanted just by playing it without a click track or metronome. Analyzed what we played, and then used that tempo for our song. Much more inspiring than trying to figure it out by adjusting our click track while we play our instrument. So that's pretty much it. That's free tempo recording in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Bingo, boys, let's go.